The BCSBCA is one of the largest animal welfare organizations in North America. With 36 branches across the province, the BCSBCA strives for the fair treatment of all animals. Today we're going to find out how to adopt a pet and which of our four-legged friends are available for adoption. Ryan, can you tell me about the adoption process? Walk me through it step by step. Definitely. Um, the first thing with an adoption process for anybody is to make sure that they're doing some research on on a dog or a cat or whatever animal you're interested in adopting to make sure that um, it's going to fit in with your lifestyle. So what are some of the requirements or restrictions? How could someone potentially be turned down to adopt a dog? We never really turn down anybody. We may get them to look at a different animal or a different um, type of pet depending on what their um, what their um, life circumstances are. Um, but what the focus is is to make sure that we're, we're putting people in the right direction and looking and getting them to focus on the right animal that would best suit their lifestyle. Some of the prerequisites that we do ask for, however, are to make sure that um, you're over the age of majority, so you have to be 19 years of age or older to adopt. Everybody that's in the household that will be with the dog on a fairly regular basis needs to come down to the shelter and uh, meet the uh, animal that they're looking at adopting as well to make sure that everybody in the house is um, wanting that same that same animal. If you're in a strata complex or you rent, we also need confirmation from your landlord or a copy of your strata bylaws that show that you're um, able to have uh, a pet in your home because a lot of places do have uh, requirements on the size. For example, some stratas only limit the size of the dog to a certain height, only allow you to have a certain amount of pets. And that's the other thing we look at too is under the bylaws to make sure that you're compliant with city municipal bylaws to ensure that you're not over your um, your legal limits, uh, let's say, when it comes to how many animals you're allowed in your household. Why is it a good idea for someone to adopt a pet? What are some of the benefits to adopting a pet? Adopting a pet, we know, because most of the dogs that we have, and cats, and small animals, they're typically a little bit older, so we kind of have a history on them um, for the most part, so we know how they're going to react in the home generally. Uh, and so we're better able to match the right animal with the right home. What kind of animals are available for adoption here at the BCSPCA? At the BCSPCA as a whole, we have, they run through the gamut from horses and um, large animals all the way down to uh, mice and dagoos. So at the BCSPCA here in Vancouver specifically, uh, we have dogs, cats, rabbits, um, small rodents, chinchillas. We get the occasional ferret or pigeon or budgie. And the best place to find out what animals we do have available for adoption can be done right from the comfort of your own home. Uh, you can actually search through our SPCA website, which is spca.bc.ca, and you can search um, specific branches uh, for specific animals that you're looking for. Okay, excellent. Are we able to see some of the animals available for adoption today? Most definitely, yes. Come on, let's go. This here is Jojo. She's a uh, Chihuahua cross with a Papillon. She came to us as a result of a cruelty investigation. So her her previous history is a little bit sad, unfortunately. She was um, from a puppy mill out in Abbotsford where she was used for breeding. Uh, it's another important reason why people should know that they should go through their local animal shelter. And if they're looking for a purebred animal, that they go through a reputable breeder to ensure that the animal has been raised properly in a situation that's uh, humane. She's about uh, four years old. Uh, we had, uh, I mentioned that we had some dental work done uh, with her, so her teeth are all nice and clean and uh, she's ready to go to a new home. She's an absolute sweetheart. If somebody wanted to adopt Jojo right now, what would be the best way to go about it? The best way to go about it would be to contact us by phone. Our phone number is 604-879-7721 uh, and leave a voicemail and somebody usually calls you back within an hour to two hours and then we'll talk to you over the phone. Or if you want to come on down, um, our viewing adoption hours are from 12 till 5.30 on weekdays, 12 till 4.30 on weekends and the adoptions close a half an hour earlier um, than our viewing times. Excellent. Bye, Jojo. If you're looking to add a furry addition to your family, adopt a pet from the BCSPCA. For Happy Tales on Novus TV, I'm Corinne Skalbeck.